<laughs> but you know what really gets me is stuff that could be real, like hostile. Have you? Hey, let me tell you about hostile. Okay, so, tell so, me no, no, so hostile. Hostile scared me straight, right? So I would go to, I, I did like uh, from like after WWE, WWF, whatever. Then uh, would go to Europe and stuff. Stuff. I would literally go out and party all night with everybody and, and, and get on a train and, and wake up somewhere else and leave off with people and I wake up in another town and have to figure out how I got there uh, like and, and, and like why do I only got one shoe and how much quid how much pounds do I have to figure out the taxi and have to wave somebody down but I'd always make my shows I never miss them but I would do that I would just randomly go off with strangers like, ah yay then I watched Hostel and I was like oh hell no <laughs> I don't know. I just started holding my booth, watching the room. <laughs> like, now I'm going to go home with my friends here tonight, man. <laughs> like, I wouldn't leave from the group anymore. So that movie did me a favor. It probably saved my life. I probably would have ended mm. up more of a statistic soon. Not because I ended up in a hostel, but probably because I just drank myself or got myself in a bad situation somewhere or done something stupid. And, and uh, So I, I can say thank you to Hostel for that, but it oh, terrorized you. me and took a good time. I, was, I would have such a great time. And I'd be like... After I saw that movie, I was like, I am not waking up strapped down on a, a gurney for somebody to pay top dollar to act their to torture you. ghoulish uh, manifest that, you know, out on me, whatever their fantasies were. Like, that poor girl, when they blow torched her eyeball out, and then she ran, and the train, and like, oh. Yo, Hostel scared me straight. Yeah, they scared That's me straight. scary movie. Yeah, it was like, you see it bubbling out of... No. Uh, it's just people. Uh, well, from on what the I remember, dark web, like they find, <laughs> yeah, they, they like yeah. bet on people to essentially kill. Y and yeah, they, they they get you. They like they they got a fantasy. So there you are. They'll come in a room and like there it is. Strap down. Go kill them in any way you want. Cut them out or whatever you do. It's whatever pretty... your dark fantasy is like. Yeah. Yeah. And which I'm sure is out there. I I believe all that stuff exists. Like and, and you say it could be real. I believe it I is believe real it out there. And. It, Dark web. But just think about. I mean, not to go a negative route or take it really Sorry. down or with the, the the sex trafficking. I'm thinking amount of like, uh, uh, amount of kids that disappear here are uncounted for and stuff. You know, it's it's, it, 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 it's you know. terrifying. Like I follow the Mod the Madeline McCain case, like hoping for an update. It's so, do you know that the Madeline McCain case? No. So, um. So I mean, it took place many years ago i want to say it was almost the 90s and a family was vacationing um i don't remember the country and they were vacationing with a bunch of little kids and they went out for dinner which they said was mere steps away from where they were staying and um a parent every 30 minutes would go and check on the kids and then one time they went to go check and Madeline like wasn't in her crib and never seen again. Like no hints. They have like, as, obviously they question the parents, but they have like no suspects. It's so, so they think it was sex trafficking. I mean, yeah, it's just, I think there's more it's than disgusting. just that case. I think there's thousands, if not John hundreds Benet of thousands. Even. I, well, I guess.